227. <coughs> it's about seven pounds down since last week. So I'm happy with it. It means it's working, and that's even with the uh, the little treat on uh, Thanksgiving. Just eating whatever. So I'm happy about that. Uh, I'm not going to bother doing a physique update. I'm going to show you what I look like because uh, if you can't already tell by my voice, I am sick again. Oddly enough, it's within 24 hours after my roommate comes home. I'm sure it's a coincidence though. But the reason I'm not going to show you when I'm sick is just because uh, you get a really watery look when you're sick. And I know it's water, it's not fat. Because, uh, and I want to say this before people start saying it's fat and you don't know what you're talking about or whatever, but the reason I know that's not fat is and water is because when your body gets sick, it releases a chemical, it's called histamine. And mainly it's like around your nose that it releases it, but, and it's just meant to fight any illnesses or viruses that are in your system and get rid of that. But uh, what it does for your physique appearance is that it actually gives it a watery look because it's trying to make your body retain water. It doesn't want to get rid of it because if it does, it takes longer for your body to get rid of that disease. Yeah, there was no uh, workout yesterday. Just I had a crap ton of things to do and my body, as the day went on, was saying, no, you work out, you're going to die. You're gonna, it's going to last longer. It's going to do more harm for my body than good. So I went to bed around 10.30. It's 9 o'clock right now and feel much, much better. It's not congested, still got a weird throat, but I do feel better. I feel like I can work out today. And uh, it's nine o'clock right now. Uh, so it's a little later than I wanted to wake up. Uh, but my alarms were going off, but I guess I was snoozing them in my sleep, which I've done that several times before, which I hate, so. <laughs> figure that out. I have an alarm clock that's across the room for me, so I'll have to use that for now on. But uh, for breakfast, we're going to try a protein pancake recipe that I found from a guy uh, named Evan Centipony. He's an animal supplement line athlete. Good guy, smart guy, knows his stuff. So we're going to give that a try. He uses holdings in his recipe. Uh, I don't because we're cutting out fats in the morning this week. We're cutting out the fats from the eggs. We're just eating egg whites. So we're going to use that to see if that does the same. But hopefully it'll be something new, something better than just bland, uh, bland egg whites. That'd be nice. I'm going to have to keep it down because my roommate's still asleep and his door is open. I don't know why he does that. But yeah. my little... Uh, it's from one to It's Christmas season, so let's see how this tastes. Got some sugar free uh, butter flavored syrup here from Maple Grove Farms. Doesn't matter what you use as long as it's sugar free. Yep. Tastes pretty legit. Doesn't taste that bad. Could probably taste better if uh, I'm trying to steal my food. If I could add the milk in there, but if I did, it'd be way too liquidy. So <clears throat> I'm gonna enjoy this now. So talk to you guys in a little while. Alrighty, guys, what is up? We are back for another chest workout. We have four exercises today, but we're doing about five, four sets for each one of them. And here we're starting out not with incline hammer strength machine, but we're doing flat hammer strength machine. We're doing five sets of about 10 reps. This is about the last set, so you're not going to see great form here, but that is your goal. You want to get a good squeeze at the top of the rep, let it down slowly. Five sets of 10. Next up, our second exercise is going to be machine flies. Now this we're doing four sets of 10. And remember, I don't grip the handlebars. I get a better squeeze if I grip the arms of the machine instead. We're doing four sets of 10, getting a good squeeze, Bringing the handlebars together, ding ding, just like I said. And here you're gonna see me repping it out because I'm already feeling the burn. This is about the last set again, barring the guy walking in front of me. 
Four sets of 10. Make it burn, get a good squeeze out of it, fill the muscle up with blood. We're trying to raise that metabolism. That is our goal at this exercise. Next up, we are going to the incline hammer strength machine on this one. And we're doing four sets of 12 this time. Now, you know how I like to do this. Again, squeeze at the top. I don't lengthen out my arms. I don't straighten them out because otherwise it just rests on the joints, my shoulder joints, my elbow joint. And I like to have healthy joints when I'm older. So I don't go all the way up with it. I don't straighten out my arms. I keep all the tension on the muscle the entire way through. Four sets of 12. The last exercise is going to be cable flies. This is meant to hit the lower part of the pecs. We're doing four sets of 12, and when you finish this up, you are done for the workout. Now, we didn't record any of it, but we did do cardio acceleration between every set of every exercise. Again, I'm not gonna be recording that because you guys kind of get the feel for it, what you're supposed to do on it, so I'm not gonna waste the camera, the camera battery on it. We did do cardio acceleration though. After this, you are finished up. So I'm finished eating for the day, and for my last meal, my roommate made the mistake of reminding me that today is uh, traditional Tuesday at Buffalo Wild Wings, half off, any, any size. So I said, oh, cool. So I went and got some. <laughs> I ate most of a uh, large one myself. What I have left is three. with uh, bourbon honey mustard and three no sauce. So what I did, just so that way I wasn't consuming a bunch of uh, too much sugar, too much, too many calories, I did half no sauce at all. And it wasn't too bad, it wasn't great. And the other half with the sauce. I went with the bourbon honey mustard, just because according to their nutrition facts, the list they have at the restaurant, that's the one that has the lesser calories. So, <clears throat> so we did that, and I left a little bit because I was starting to get a little, I was starting to get satisfied. And once you get to the point where you're satisfied with a meal, that's, especially if it's a kind of cheat, quote cheat, then you gotta, then you gotta stop. Uh, you don't want to be getting full from this. Not from a cheat meal, at least. So, I'm going to save those for tomorrow. And maybe have them with breakfast. Uh, yes, I have buffalo wild wings for breakfast. I've had burgers for breakfast. So, that is it for the day. I'm going to stay up a little longer to uh, study for an exam I have on Thursday. And so, yeah, that is the end of day... What day is it? 17? 18? Something like that. But, anyways, that is it for the day. I will see you guys next time.